Hello class, this is Miss Augustine. I'm going to try to walk you through graphing your density data um, using Google Sheets. So for starters, you're going to go to um, your browser and you're going to click on Sheets. And that's going to give you this and then you're going to start a new spreadsheet. And we're going to call this up here density example. And then I'm going to come down here and I have my data and I'm going to paste it in. And now this is super important. So it's super important that your volume is in column A and that your mass is in column B. So now you're going to highlight and you'll notice that my data includes the point zero zero that I added in and I guess I can show you how to do that too if you didn't have that data point you would just go to the end of your data and type in the point zero and zero so then I'm going to highlight my data and I'm going to include my first cells for each column because that will then uh, take care of labeling the axes for me and it will also name the graph then I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to click on insert chart waiting for it and then that opens the chart editor here I'm going to click on scatter chart now a couple times in class what I noticed was scatter chart didn't show up but there was an example of a line in the so-called suggested there isn't right now but if that one happens for you you can click on it. So then you're going to click on customize and you'll notice this data is not being correctly graphed. This is some sort of crazy format. So we're going to click on horizontal axis and then we're going to unclick right here where it says treat labels as text. Once I did that you'll notice that now my axes showed up and that my um, two axes have labels mass versus volume and now it looks kind of linear which is good so now um, if you want you can play around with the colors the text colors for instance if you wanted your text to be blue it would make it blue um, in our case if you wanted to change the uh, chart axes and titles so if I wanted to make the title in a larger font that looks pretty good what was it at I messed that up didn't I axis and titles sorry we'll make that big let's try 18 that's better and we could make it for instance blue and if you wanted to change the uh, horizontal and the vertical axis you could do that as well I'm not going to <clears throat> and then you're going to go to series and you're going to um, here again you could change the color of your points if you wanted and then you're going to add a trend line when you click trend line you can scroll down make sure it's linear you can change the color of the line if you want let's make it Easter purple and then you could change the opacity of the line make it darker and then you're going to scroll down further and you're going to get the label here and you're going to say use equation and all of a sudden that's the equation for my line now we haven't figured out why we teachers it's not giving us the point zero zero as our intercept and it's giving us point three zero six I'm gonna say ignore that number and the slope of your line in this case since this is y equals mx plus b b should be zero because our point goes through the origin so our slope here would be 2.57 now you may be wondering why our slope of 2.57 is significant if you recall how you get the value for a slope it's change in y over change in x and y is mass and X is volume so the slope of this line is mass over volume which is density 
So this line represents is for the class data. So we had 11 different data points for our class data based upon 11 data points. Our slope is 2.57, which means the density for this particular sample, and this is, I think, aluminum, is 2.57. And the accepted value for aluminum is roughly 2.7, 2.6989. So close enough. So then from here, you could then open a Google Doc. So now we have this. If I go over here to a new tab, pull up my apps, pull up a new Google document, and let's say I call this um, density 2018 example, and let's just say that I'm skipping ahead to my data section, and I were to write um, class, oops, didn't mean to do that, sorry. This is the class data for aluminum. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say insert chart from sheets. And I'm going to find the graph that I just did. And there is my graph. I'm going to double click it or I can just click it once and then click import. And there is my data. So that, again, is how you would go about doing your plot. Um, this is Miss Augustine, and we will talk about this some more in class if you have any further questions. This is Miss Augustine signing off.